It was dangerous. I don't think we realized it so much at that time. Lieutenant Colin Hall came to Rayford in 1961 as a prison guard assigned to the Rock. You had a lot of inmate on inmate assaults and you were involved in them uh, personally by uh, trying to keep one from killing the other. But the prison defied the staff's best efforts to keep the peace. Lieutenant Hall recalls one savage night in particular. As he made his rounds on the midnight shift, something came rolling down the corridor. It was a human head. Walked over and shined a flashlight on the head, realized what cell it came out of. Walked back, looked in the cell, and uh, the two that was in there was just sitting on the bunk grinning. And uh, I can remember my reaction. Uh, blood all over the cell floor and everything was, uh, I'll get to see both of you go to the chair. It was like a dungeon and uh, hate uh, really stalked the halls. And because we weren't controlled effectively by the staff, we just did to each other whatever we wanted to do. So every week there's a murder, every week uh, at least somebody's raped. Ken Cooper spent two years in the rock for robbery. I would come around the corner and there would be somebody stabbing someone else. Or I was sitting in the chow hall, four of us were eating. Uh, a man came out of nowhere with a big homemade shank, double-edged sword, and started stabbing the man right in front of